Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's class, we will discuss an important and tricky question on complex DC circuits. Why this question is important? Because this question is a great question to understand complex DC circuits. We will use a smart method to answer this kind of complex circuits. For this question, it is given to us that all the resistors are identical. Identical simply means that they have the same resistance and all the emitters, they have negligible resistance. It simply means that emitters are ideal emitters and they have no resistance. Question is also telling us that reading on emitter 1, A1 is 0.6 amps, means reading on this emitter, this is given, this is equal to 0.6 amps. Question is asking us, what are the readings on the other emitters mean what is reading on a2 what is reading on a3 and what is reading on a4 this is what we need to find out first of all let's try to connect voltmeters across different branches let's say we have voltmeter v1 and we connect across this branch so first across this branch let's say we have another voltmeter and the second voltmeter we connect across this branch here and the third one let's say we connect across the third branch and here and the fourth one we connect across the fourth branch let's say this is voltmeter v4 and we connect across this branch and this is the main idea you need to understand if i look at v1 you can simply see here v1 and this is v2 you see this is this point and this point they are at the same potential because this wire is an ideal wire so it means i'm finding the potential difference across this point and across this point and for the second voltmeter i'm finding the potential difference across this point and across this point so the potential difference across these two branches is the same because this point is at the same potential as this one and this point is a common point among these two voltmeters so it means that v1 is equal to v2 so we can simply write down here v1 is equal to v2 because we are finding the potential difference between two same points for v1 and also v2 so we can say that v1 is equal to v2 now let's look at this now v3 now if we look at this v2 this point and this point they are at the same potential and if we look at the second point this point and this point they are also at the same potential because one ideal wire between these two points we can also connect like this let's say i connect this one to here or i can extend this one to here the result is the same so it means that v2 is also equal to v3 and we can say it is also equal to v1 now let's look at v4 reading on voltmeter 4 now so this point and this point they are at the same potential because there is an ideal wire between them we can also connect like this let's say we connect to this point and if we look at the second point for third voltmeter and fourth voltmeter is also the same the first point is the same and the second point is also the same it means that the reading on voltmeter 4 is also the same as reading on voltmeter theory so here we can say that v1 is equal to v2 and this is equal to v3 and this is equal to v4 as the reading across each branch is the same it simply means that all the branches are just connected in parallel so this is just a parallel circuit let me redraw this one so you can get a clear picture of this circuit i'm starting from this battery so this is our battery or you can simply say this is a cell and we have emitter a2 that is connected here and after m meter a2 we have a meter a1 so we can connect a meter a1 here so this is our a meter a1 and after a meter a1 we have two resistors so we can connect two resistors here so these are two resistors connected in series so they are connected in series then we have the third branch and for the third branch we have a meter a3 that is connected 
here and we have one resistor that is connecting in series with a meter so we can redraw this one like this and the last one we have fourth ammeter that one has a4 and this has three resistors connected in series means one two and three so we can draw these three resistors in series so here we can redraw these resistors here so this is our circuit so this is simple a parallel circuit now we need to find out the readings on a2 a3 and a4 now let's say the resistance of each resistor this is r so simply we can write down here each resistor has the same resistance because they are identical resistors let's say current coming from the battery and passing through m meter 2 let's say that current is i2 and current passing through m meter 1 and through these two resistors let's say that current is i1 and the reading of i1 is given as it is given here that is equal to 0 0.6 amps 0 0.6 amps and let's say current passing through m meter 3 this is i3 and current passing through m meter 4 let's say this is i4 and also the same current is passing through these three resistors first of all look at v1 and v1 is equal to v3 so v1 if you look at v1 this is equal to 0 0.6 means current passing through this branch and its resistance and let's say its resistance is 2R because we have said resistance of each resistor is R and these two resistors are connected in series so the total resistance of this branch that is equal to 2R and for V3 we can simply say this is I3 we don't know what is value of I3 but we know the resistance of this branch that is equal to R now from here we can cancel r because this is common and we can find out i3 from here and that is two times of i1 so simply is equal to 1.2 amps so this is reading on m meter theory we can find out now let's try to find out reading on m meter 4 again we will compare with v1 v1 is also equal to v4 so we can again write down v1 is equal to v4 and v1 is equal to 0 0.6 times the resistance of this branch that is equal to 2r and current passing through emitter 4 this is i4 and the total resistance of this branch this is equal to 3r now r is common we can simply cancel so i4 is simply equal to 1.2 divided by 3 so this is equal to 0 0.4 amps so this is reading of i4 now if we need to find out i2 so i2 simply equal to i1 plus i3 plus i4 so if we add all of them together our final answer will be 2.2 amps now you can see i2 is 2.2 amps so this is the right answer d is the answer and i3 is 1.2 so this is 1.2 i4 is 0 0.4 so this is 0 0.4 so our answer for this question is d